going on guys welcome back to our 23rd video in HTML and CSS in this video we're going to create our navigation bar that links to other web pages now I only I know we only have one web page right now but we're going to be using this web page as our template for our other web pages so we definitely want a nav bar on this one so first things first we're going to go to our html.index file and I'm going to create some pages so we need another unordered list and we'll go ahead and no Nope. There it is. Let's go ahead and close it out right now so I don't forget because I'm notorious at forgetting everything all the time. And what pages do we want to have? We want to have our home page. Close that bad boy out. And we'll do a services page, a very fictitious services page. Uh, what else do we want? Probably like a about us page. And contact. Cool. So let's save that, open it up in our browser, and there it is. It's over here. It looks horrible. That is our nav bar without any links or without any CSS. So let's go over to our CSS page now and let's create some CSS. And I'll go ahead and call this Top Nav. Is that cool with you guys? Cool. Okay, so what do we want to start out doing? First things first is I want to give it a different font because I don't want it to be the same font as our regular paragraph text so we'll give it like a do, 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 Helvetica Helvetica and what else do I want to do I want to uh, oh I want to have the CSS rule of of clear and what that'll do is it'll take this stuff right here and it'll clear us from our elements over here from our banner and our social media icons it'll bring this information here right down here so here's an awesome CSS attribute it's called clear and we want to clear it from both the both for it clears it both from the left and right hand side so what else do we want I want to give it some padding give it some top padding top bottom we'll do 10 pixels and left and right we will do zero pixels and I didn't do a colon right here sorry this video is gonna be horrible hopefully you guys can follow along and what else do I want what else do I want that'll be cool so let's go ahead and create our div right here and what we call this we call it top nav yeah let's go ahead and close this out open a div you gotta close a div and let's go ahead and save this and reload it in our browser perfect even though what's going on with our clear did this work let me pause this video actually that's fine that's cool what we want to do right now is okay our clear worked and we reloaded it and now our stuff is down here so what I want to do is I want to create a couple other CSS attributes and since we were doing this in an unordered list where it's um, HTML tags within HTML tags we got to give our li as well as our ul some more information because our browser isn't smart enough to just assume what we're thinking so I'm gonna go over here go to top nav uh, and give our unordered list some more CSS and I'm gonna give it a border top of one pixel and we'll do black and I'll make it solid. You could either do solid or dotted. Let's see how dotted looks. No, that looks horrible. We want it to be solid. Perfect. And we'll give it a border bottom. And we'll just give it what? Another pixel. Is that cool with you guys? Do one pixel black solid we'll save it look at it now that looks good we just have to create our CSS to display this inline so let's go ahead and where are we at right now okay do I want to give it some margin I'll give it some margin so I'll give it a margin of 20 pixels for the top and bottom and zero pixels to the left and right and I'll give it uh, I'll give this padding as well I want to bring it down a little bit further so I'm going to do 10 pixels to the top and bottom, 0 pixels to the left and right. So let's look at it again. Perfect. That looks a lot better. So i got a one, a one pixel border on the top and bottom, and I've got 10 pixels of padding in between there. So let's go ahead and create 
Uh, another CSS rule for our inline stuff now. So again, go with top nav because we're still want we want our CSS to contribute to our div ID of top nav, and we will go ahead and type in unordered list li. Bring that down, and what do we want from this? We want to display it in line, the same thing that we did with our social media icons. So now we're going to reload it. Boom, how good does that look? So we haven't set them up as links yet. Um, what else do I want to do? What else do I want to do for the time being? Maybe I'll give these uh, padding of 15 as well. Let's go to, uh, okay, 15 pixels, open up our browser. That looks pretty good. You guys cool with that? So we've got our home, we're gonna have our services, we're gonna have about us, and we'll have our contact. And uh, I'm pretty content with that for the time being. In the next video, we'll go ahead and create links for these. And uh, all right, so subscribe to my videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.